Hey everybody, welcome to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Dropdown Menus. In the previous lecture, we coded the navigation bar and the content within it, the navigation items, the form, and the glyph icons, including the button. However, we left out the dropdown menus in the services and my account tabs. So this is that's what we're going to do in this lecture. So if you go back to your code editor and we're going to focus first on the services link. So this needs to be a drop down, not just uh, just not just one item. So we do that by first giving this li the class of drop down. And within this list item, we need to add an unordered list. First off, Let's go to the A link right here and give it the class of dropdown dash toggle, which is a bootstrap three class and data. Sorry, this isn't a class. This is another attribute on the A tag. So data dash toggle equals dropdown. So what this is, this is the class of dropdown toggle. This is calling the bootstrap three class, which allows this link to be a uh, basically a toggle for the dropdown and the attribute data toggle dropdown is going to basically it's just bootstrap 3's way of making this a tag an actual toggle for the dropdown you can read the bootstrap 3 docs for uh, further kind of information on how this works continuing on the ul we're going to give the class of dropdown menu so this is actually the dropdown menu Let's end drop down menu just so we can see properly. And inside this, we're going to add, I believe, one, two, three, five menu items, drop down menu items, and this kind of heading within the drop down. So let's add a list item. Within that list item, add an A and call it whatever you want. I'm calling it web design. Just to save you some time, just copy that list item, paste it two more times so you don't have to rewrite it. Little uh, pro web dev tip. Change the nav items to whatever you would like them to be. So now if we check that out, we have a couple items here. So doesn't quite have the arrow, the little carrot that, sh that has a little arrow pointing down yet, but that's okay. We will get there. Okay. Uh, now we're going to add that horizontal divider. So li with the class of divider. Close the li tag, and that is all you need to do for that. Post a couple more of, or paste a couple more, three more of those list items. And in fact, the first one isn't going to have the a tag. It's just going to be an li. And it's going to have the class of dropdown header. So if you remember, there's a little header in there that said more services. That's going to show up by doing that. And these last two items, call them whatever you want. Or add whatever content you want, rather. Save. And now if we go back to our website and refresh, you should see, if you click on services, you have all of the list items but we don't have that little drop down arrow so let's add that it's super easy bootstrap 3 lets you do that really quickly just by in the drop down toggle link add a strong tag and give it the class of caret c a r e t save that refresh there it is so now you have your first dropdown menu. That was really fast. Usually when you hand code this stuff, it takes quite a bit of work and some time, but if you're using Bootstrap, Bootstrap 3, you can whip one of these out really quickly and then you can just further customize it however you want. So it's a super nice feature. So let's do this as well for the My Account. So scroll down to your My Account list item. And let's do the same thing. So this li is going to have the class of dropdown. And this a tag is going to have the class of dropdown dash toggle, like we did above. 
It's also going to have the attribute of data toggle equals drop down. Save your work. And within this list item, let's add an unordered list with the class of drop down menu. And inside of that, if you still have in your clipboard that list item with the A tag inside of it, just paste that four times, I believe. Let's name those what you would like them to be. So settings, update profile, billing, and sign out. So if you save that and check your website out, you can see that these items are there. But in the final website, we have a little horizontal rule there and we have the font icons. So that's super easy to do. Let's add that in there real quick. There was the horizontal divider there. So it was an LI with the class of divider. Close that LI item. That's good. And let's add those font icons. So if you remember how to do it, it was a span with the class of glyph icon and also the class of glyph icon, whatever icon you want it to be. So if you can actually go to glyphicons.getbootstrap.com and you can see all the icons available to you. And you can basically add these icons. Uh, if you downloaded them, you can see the specific CSS classes. I like to just inspect the element and see what they named it. This is glyph icon, glyph icon tag. You can see barcode, headphones, all these things. These are all the different options you can use. That's what I like doing. So we are going to add the glyph icon um, of wrench. Now I'm going to copy this so I don't have to rewrite all of that HTML again. There's nothing wrong with copying and pasting if it's saving you some time. But for the purposes of this course, don't just copy and paste the code chunks because this is for learning, not for super fast productivity. So glyph icon, glyph icon dash refresh. Let's add another glyph icon in here with the, uh, it's gonna be briefcase. And the last one under on the sign out tab, glyph icon off. Save that, check out your website. Hit your my account tab, boom, there they all are. It looks awesome. We're still missing that carrot. So if you remember how to do that, just go to your my account add a strong tag and give it the class of carrot. Save that, refresh, there it is, looks good. So you have your drop downs right here with your glyph icons, the horizontal rule, another drop down over here with a, a little label, a header in there and the horizontal rule. And let's check what this is like responsively. So I'm gonna shrink my browser window. So it shrinks pretty good there. Shrinks good there, and then this is where it should change. There's a the responsive uh, mobile version, but we're missing something. We're missing the little tab over here that allows us to toggle this uh, nav. We lost all of our nav items, and we definitely don't want that. So let's add that. Scroll back up to the top of your nav bar HTML, and we're going to add inside the container, so at the very top, before anything, before nav bar brand, before your logo, add a button, an HTML button. Give it the class of navbar dash toggle. Give it the attribute of data dash target equals class. So I put a dot there to reference a class. Navbar dash responsive dash collapse. So if you remember, this is actually the class for this menu right here, the nav collapse, everything within this menu is going to collapse. That's why it disappeared on the mobile version of the site. So this data target, this button's actually going to target this specific element right here. So that's a Bootstrap 3 feature. Let's add another attribute called data dash toggle equals collapse. And type, we want this button to be the type of button. Inside that button, let's add three span tags and give it the, give each of them the class of icon bar. Paste that two more times. If you save that now and refresh your website, you shouldn't see it here, but if you shrink your browser to the mobile version, there you have it right there. Now if you click this, 
boom, there it is, beautiful. It's just, that saves an incredible amount of time hand coding a bunch of custom jQuery and JavaScript and HTML and CSS to get that effect. So you can really dev a website super quick with Bootstrap 3 and have really cool responsive features without having to do any extra work. Saves you a lot of time, saves you money. It's awesome. There is one quick thing we need to do with our nav bar. This kind of bugs me. It obviously doesn't look very good. We have a little bit of a margin or something and under these items, it doesn't really look good to me and I wanna fix that. So it's really easy with just a little tiny bit of CSS. So in your styles.css under nav bar, add the class of navbar brand and give it padding of 13 pixels and 15 pixels. So what this is, is top and bottom padding and left and right padding. So this is a shorthand. Instead of writing 13 pixels, 15 pixels, 13 pixels, 15 pixels, we just have to write it twice. This gives the top and bottom the padding of 13 pixels and the right and left uh, 15 pixels. So if we save that and go back to our website and refresh, that should fix it. The reason why that fixes it is because the navbar brand had too much padding before and it pushed it down a little too far because the logo was a little bigger than the default bootstrap settings. So we just had to override that CSS just a little bit to make it work. So that's all you need to do for the navbar. I'll see you in the next lecture.